This is the uh, hand cab Wi-Fi throttle that you can build for around $50. Uh, you can print all the parts on a 3D printer or you could go to a place that will print them for you. There is a uh, horn button on the side. The control stock is modeled after a GP7, GP9 control stock that was called like a barrel control stock in the cab. There's a uh, throttle on the right side. It's got uh, off position plus eight notches that have detents so you can go from notch to notch on it. It's also a reverser down in the front and on the top other side is the brake lever. Next I'll show the uh, throttle in action in just a minute here. Uh, but I've also got the serial monitor recording uh, that you'll see how the or what happens as you control the throttle the throttle has uh, eight speed steps and there is momentum between each speed step so that it doesn't just go from one speed to the next speed uh, the same there is a uh, on the left above there is a the throttle notch that will show you what throttle notch we're in right now. Uh, to the right of that is the target speed. So when you go to the throttle notch, uh, there will be a target speed for that throttle notch. These are all user defined. You decide where you want the eight speed steps to be. Uh, next to that is the current speed step that will move up you will move the throttle to a, to a notch whichever notch you want to go to and the speed will increase step by step up to that notch or back down to a lower notch so you'll see the numbers change in there those are the delays uh, for the momentum the throttle controls that you select how much of a delay you want for these um, so there's user defined on that. Next over is the position of the reversal handle. So we'll see whether the handle is neutral, forward, or reversed. And then the uh, acceleration delays. So you can select whatever acceleration delays you want, which will affect the momentum. But you could also change to three different levels of those on the fly for like if you're on the main and want longer delays or if you're in the yard and want shorter delays. Then there's six stages of brake delay so when you apply the brakes as you move the brake letter over it will become progressively stronger and stronger. If you take it all the way to the right on the brake it will stop the train almost immediately. Uh, after that the last thing is the direction so here we'll see whether the directions either forward which is a one or it's zero for reverse Now we'll go through uh, running the throttle a little bit and seeing the effects as you do this on the screen at the top. So I just put the throttle in forward. Now I'm going to bring it up through the notches. You can see that it's on notch 2 right now. Now notch 3 which has a speed step of 15. I uh, 
set my locals up so that speed step 15 is also 15 miles an hour, or speed step 65, the top one would be 65 scale miles per hour also. So I've gone up to notch 5 here, and it got up to notch 5. I put it in neutral, now it will start coasting down 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. If I put it back in gear again, it will start climbing back up to the 35 speed step, one step at a time. So that's your momentum. It's not going to go there in one step. You set all the momentum rates you want. You can have it so it takes a minute to get the top speed or 20 seconds, whatever. So now I've just turned the throttle off. And the speed steps are stepping down with the throttle off. So it's coasting down. You could apply the brake at any time there and speed that process up. Or like here, I'm bringing the notch back up to notch four. So the speed steps are climbing back up to notch four. Once they get there, it'll just stay run at that same speed. Here I'm using the brake. You can apply the brake. You can see the brake delays on the, towards the right side going down from 500. They're down to 100 right now. That's so the lower the number, the faster the brakes are on. If you take the brake handle, bring it all the way over, the uh, train will stop almost instantly. There's also two buttons down there. One turns the power off, and the other one turns the uh, does an emergency stop on the local. So you could also use two of the red buttons down on the thing. Now right now it's at notch 4, so that speed step would be 25, and there I pulled it over and the speed steps went right down to zero. Would have stopped the local very quickly. Taking the reverser back over through neutral and over to reverse. Move the throttle up. There's notch one, two, three, four, five. Normally you wouldn't go through the notches this quick, but for this demonstration I will. So it's up on notch seven right now, which has a target speed of 55. In my case, it'd be 55 miles an hour. And you can see the speed steps going up 33, 34, 35, 36, so forth, going up. I'm pressing the button down below that changes between three different momentums that I have set up. So one is a tenth of an inch, tenth of a second between speed steps, which would be very quickly it would move. And the slowest is 1,000, which would be one second. So it would be one second between each speed step. So in my case, with a top speed of 65, it would take 65 seconds to step from zero all the way up to uh, 65 or 65 miles an hour in my case. Again, you can define what you want all those to be, where each speed step is, and uh, the delays between the speed steps, which would be the momentum. So if you run a decoder that doesn't have momentum, uh, the throttle will provide the momentum. Now here I just applied the brake and I'm bringing the speed down very quickly here. If you put it in neutral, it'll also go down. And there's the horn button control on the right side. Again, you can build this for around $50. I'll have the uh, print files up on Thingiverse. My link's on my website. Um, the seven buttons on the front there uh, 
Uh, you can define them for different things. I'll have the two on the stalk. The left one will be turn the lights off and on. The right one will be the bell. Uh, the upper left one down on the bottom will be a horn button also so you could either activate the horn by that button or the lever on the side uh, and uh, two of the other buttons one will be turn track power off and on the other one be emergency stop for the local um, one of the buttons controls the three different levels of momentum that you can change on the fly and the other button I'll probably set up as a drive hold button, but I could do something else. Also, all the buttons on the keyboard can be defined for different items. There's a display on the display that uh, you can go through different menus, like your logo, connect to your Wi-Fi, uh, a number of different options. Uh, the software... Uh, for all that is by Peter Akers, a uh, person that's responsible for engine driver and also the YT controller throttles. Uh, I have a couple of those I've built. They don't have the control stock, but they have everything else you see there. Um, all the buttons on the keypad, can, most of them, can all be defined for different functions, say like if you want to have um, one of them also is forward or reverse or things like that. Well, let's back up. Maybe not forward and reverse with this throttle. But uh, you can define those for different sounds if you have a sound decoder also. Plus, his, on the display, you can see the functions and so forth. Uh, it's really a powerful throttle. There's much more information about the throttle on my website. Uh, you can go to uh, onefatgmc.com, license plate on my street rod. So it's the number one, fatgmc.com. And uh, there's a lot of build pages there that show you how to do all the uh, electrical connections. It's not real hard to do. Uh, there's very few components inside. There's a fair amount of wiring, but if you're not a good solder, you will be when you finish it. Uh, so, hope to get this finished and up within the next month, hopefully. Thanks for watching.